Welcome back to the broadcast. Well, we are back with Carissa, who is our lucky holiday makeover recipient. We did her hair, and so we've covered it up because we don't want y'all to see until we reveal it. But now it's time for us to kind of get to the makeup, and we have Jennifer here, um, and she's here with GenXFaces.com, who is going to give us some great tips on how we can kind of just spruce up our look when it comes to holiday parties. And you basically told me it's, an, it's there's a couple simple things we can do that won't take a lot of time. Right. What would you say are the most important things we should do if we don't have a lot of time and we're not really great at makeup? So if you're not really great at makeup and we're heading out to a segment where you got to have a little bit of pizzazz, just do a soft, neutral, smoky eye with okay. like skin tone colors. That okay. makes the biggest difference and it's easiest to hide mistakes. Now, too. I used to be really terrified of doing smoky eyes, but somebody told me the best thing to do was to kind of get a color, put it in the corner, and then just, it's all about the blending. It is, it's truly about the blending and using the right brush. So when you're blending on the eye, and closer to me, Krista, we wanna go out and in. So kind of like in. a V. Right, an outside V. And you want to go into your lash line. The key is here, if you look straight in the mirror for me, or the camera for me, when you look straight in the mirror with the neutral eye, it'll show you where to put that smoky color. And look okay. open for me. And we don't want to go higher than this crease color. So we want to stay in the crease. We want to stay in the crease. That's where we want the darkest color to be. And put skin tone above the crease so it looks like it's dark blending into light. Have you ever done this at home? I have not. Okay. So <laughs> do you feel like you could do maybe do that? Yeah, yeah. With these yeah. simple rules? Yes, definitely. Okay. So that's the eyes. Now, one thing that I love that you are planning on putting on, Carissa, is false lashes, which yes. a lot of people are scared of false lashes. I put them on every single morning. I think they're really simple. What are your tips for applying false lashes? Tips, once again, a smoky eye will hide any mistakes you make. If you do a thicker liner, it'll also hide it. The key is here, you wanna get the lashes as close to your lash line as possible. And obviously trimming lashes. I always trim mine. You wanna fit them to kind of your exactly eye because they're not gonna fit like the, the the ones that are prepackaged aren't gonna fit everyone's eye exactly. No, the they don't fit anyone's eye. So you always want to trim from the outside in so okay. that way they don't go into the tear duct and irritate the eye and then you blink them off and that's not cute. No, that is not cute. <laughs> that is not cute. Um, okay, so the lashes and then obviously like the lips are a big piece of holiday. I love a red lip during Christmas time. I think it's a little cliche, but I think it, it's a great time for people to experiment with this. What are your tips for a bold lip? Tips for a bold lip. You still want to do a softer eye, a little bit more on your cheeks. I have what I call my two out of three rule. So we've got eyes, cheeks, and lips. I like two out of the three features to match in color or intensity. So two out do... of three rule. So two of the thing, eyes, cheeks, lips. So we want two of them to match in color and intensity. Right. So you wouldn't okay. want all neutral, but you wouldn't want all dramatic. So if we're going to do a lot on the lip, we do a little less here, a little less here. Okay. Great tips. Okay. Are these tips you think you can use for your holiday party? Yes, I'm definitely so. How are you feeling? Did you Are you excited about the hair, the makeup, the whole transformation? I am. excited to see it all together. Yes. <laughs> and of course, over the next hour, Jennifer is going to continue to finish her makeup. Um, and we are going to, I can't wait to see the final results. Because a girl can never have too many makeup tips, right? Yes. Okay, so you're going to finish up. We're going to check back in with you all a little bit later. Um, and you're going to complete her final look. And we are going to see the big reveal for the holiday party. Okay, next, we are taking the guesswork out of figuring out what to wear to your holiday party. Galleria stylist Holly Cortero is helping us out when we come back.